Members of the organized labor on Wednesday stormed the premises of the National Assembly to register their displeasure against some policies and programs of President Bolatinobu, especially the removal of fuel subsidy. The protesters, led by the President of Nigeria Labor Congress, Comrade Joe Ajiro, forced their way into the National Assembly after they were prevented by security operatives. Correspondent Kule Ojo completes the story. These are members of the organized labor led by the National President of the Nigerian Labor Congress, Joe Ajairo, at the entrance of the National Assembly. Protesters had demanded to meet with the leadership of the National Assembly to present their protest letter but were prevented before they forced their way into the White House. After waiting for some minutes, the leadership of the Senate sent the chief whip of the Senate, Senator Ali Ndume and Senator Iriti Kinkibe from the Federal Capital Territory to attend to the protesters. While presenting the demands of the organized labor to the leadership of the National Assembly, the National President of NLC, Joe Ajairo, condemned the undemocratic attitude of some security operatives at the entrance of the National Assembly, adding that most Nigerians have been impoverished by the recent policies of the Tinubu's administration. The reversal of all anti-poor policies of government, including the recent hike in PMS price, school fees, and VAT. Now, when we talk about recent hike, there was a hike of 520, 540, for which a committee was set up by the government, for which the government went to court and got a judgment, for which the court announced that status quo should remain. And the court has not met between that time and now. To adjournment, the court did not meet. And one of the parties went ahead to increase again. He maintained that contrary to the general impression, no government delegation has met with the organized labor on the issue of minimum wage and thereby appealed to the government to consider the plight of ordinary Nigerians who can no longer breathe. Responding on behalf of the National Assembly, the Senate Chief Whip, Senator Ali Ndume, commended the leadership and members of the organized labor for their comportment and for being orderly. He appealed to them to continue to exhibit high level of understanding while he promised to pass their demands to the appropriate organ of government for necessary actions. Nigerians should look at this and look at how these things are done before now. Because if we don't bring this matter here, you will be seeing us as troublemakers. That is not the case. You know, things are not happening. We need to bring it to the fore. We are calling out for, for us to look at putting a stop to all inhuman actions and policies of the government. Mr. And you are okay, you are not okay. So please, Mr. President, reconsider this and give the Senate the chance and then if we fail you, then of course you can go back to your position. I beg you in the name of God, this should serve as a warning to the presidency, to the National Assembly, to everybody. Then if nothing very tangible comes out of our... Security was beefed up within and around the National Assembly to foster breakdown of law and order. From the National Assembly, Kunle Ujo, Galaxy TV.